Hello? Hello? Hi, can you hear us? Yes, hi, how are you? I'm right, how are you? I'm good. Hi, Vihan, how are you? Good. So, what's happening? Lockdown? Mm. E nothing much. Okay, and you're locked down in your home three days? Mm, yeah. Okay, and what do you do for the whole day? Uh, no, sometimes I go to my granny's house, and other days I play with uh, my mommy books, play dates with my friends. Mm -hmm. And what do you do about studying then, if you keep on playing for the whole day? I haven't been doing any studies, but now that I'm on to tomorrow, I, I can. Okay, and how do you, how, uh, uh, how good you are at mathematics? Um, I'm okay, but I'm not really, really good. Why? I um, sometimes I get some things wrong. Uh, okay, and so most of the times you get most of the things right, right? Yes. That means you're good at mathematics. You just need some confidence of doing it, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, would you like to study something today, something specific as far as the demonstration is concerned? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the place values. So, are you aware of the place values? I'm just taking it as a demonstration session, right? And yeah. then from next time onwards, we'll decide on like what we want to study, how much we want to study and all those things. Fine? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if I write a number, say, one, two, three, four. Okay? Yeah. Uh, can you tell me what place is occupied by four? Unit. Yes, unit is correct, but uh, we also call it the ones place. Okay? Yeah, ones. Mm, okay. Now, can you tell me what place is occupied by three? Okay. What's wrong with you? You know this Tens? one. Yeah. Tens. Okay. Correct. Then can you tell me what place is occupied by two? Hundreds. Okay. And what place is occupied by one? One thousands. Mm, see, we say the place is thousands. Thousand. Thousands, yes. Okay. Okay, now can you read this number, the complete number? 1,234. Wow, you're good at it, right? Excellent, excellent. Okay. Can you just put my, push my chair in? Okay. Hmm, so you get a smiley for this, okay? Because you did it correctly. Everything was correct. Okay. Now, uh, I'm just testing a few things, so don't worry because I'm asking, I'm going to ask you from different chapters. I just want to check like, you know, how much you know, how much you don't know, and then we will work it out accordingly for the whole year, okay? Okay. One second. Sorry, Vihan. Yeah. He tells you what you don't know. Ask him about the last uh, week in the school. Remember what was that we learned? Parameters? The triangle, mirror image. Oh, yeah. Coordinates. Coordinates, yeah. Okay. Symmetry coordinates. Symmetry coordinates. Ask him that that's the topic you don't know, but let him continue how he wants, yeah? Okay. So, now, now that I, I could hear the discussion, let me just explain you the very basic of coordinate geometry, okay? okay. Let's take it up. Just give me a minute. I'll share a graph paper, okay? Okay. Okay. Can you see the graph? Yes. Okay. That's great. Now, let us come on to... You can see how many of them don't do that. You sit in the top for your picture. Yeah? It's teacher's white book. Ah, don't do that. Because... That was by accident. I don't. Uh -huh. No problems. No problems. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Okay. Uh, let me draw the... Okay. Are you aware of... See, Vihan, if I simply draw a line, what does it represent? Can you tell me? 
number one? Uh, see, we say, suppose if I just draw a line, okay? Yeah. Suppose if I just draw a line like this, okay? And then what I do is I put two, two arrows on both the sides like this. Do you know what do we call this? Uh, it's a number line. Okay. And all the numbers lie on this line. Okay. 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 Now, when we talk about, see, there are three things, three dimensions that occur on our planet Earth. Fine. Yeah. One is a single line. Second yeah. is a plane. You know what's a plane? I'm not talking about the aeroplane. I'm talking about a plane in geometry. And no. Okay. See, uh, can you tell me a shape which is very flat and which is always there around you? A square? Mm, okay, a square is basically a geometrical shape, but what I'm actually talking about is, like say for example, you know, where is your laptop right now? In front of me. Uh, but it is placed on what? A table. Correct. So table is a plane, right? Okay. You understand? Yes. And then, then we have a space. You know what's a space? Like, suppose you talk about your geometry box, okay? Yeah. Does it contain some space inside it where you can put your ruler, your... Like pen? it's hollow. Yes, yeah, so that is what is called a space, like a ball, okay? A yeah. ball has a space inside it, okay? Yeah. So, play, see, so when we have two number lines which intersect each other at like this you know this is one line and say oh my god just a minute okay this is one line this is the other line okay mm -hmm. okay. okay now both these lines, they intersect each other where they coincide with each other at zero, okay? Okay. Yeah. Now, yes. always remember, this is called the x-axis, this is called the y-axis, okay? Now, on the number... Yeah. That, I think we learn the y-axis and the uh, x-axis is across and yeah. y-axis is above. We used to learn, we used to learn this type of um, way down the stairs okay. and through so the corridor. Now what happens is that all the numbers to the right of zero are positive and all the numbers to the left of zero are negative. So we will, what happened to this? Okay. Hmm. See, now we will write this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. Yeah. This is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, and this is five. This is mm -hmm. negative one, this is negative two, this is negative three, this is negative four. So all we the haven't really learned negative numbers. Yes. Uh, see, because you were saying the coordinate plane. So, we are going to write the negative numbers, okay? Okay. Now, suppose if I put up a point somewhere on the plane, suppose I put up this point, fine? And if, mm -hmm. Can you tell me what point, if, yes, what are the coordinates, you know, the... the yeah, the coordinates is 4 over 3. Mm, just a small error behind. Just a small error. Can you repeat? Can you try it again? Always remember one thing. It's yeah. always x coordinate and then y coordinate. Okay? So, 3 comma 4. You need to write it this uh, way. 3 over 4. Okay? okay? Let me give you another one. Okay. Tell me this. What about this? 
Uh, that's two, two comma three. Uh, that's a negative two, right? Yeah, negative two over three. Negative two comma three. Perfect. Okay. Mm, let me give you a difficult one. Okay. Let's okay. see if you can do it. Mm, okay. I'll put it up with the... Okay, tell me this. Can you see the point? The pink dot? Yes. Can you tell me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Four negative. Perfect, Vyan. You're good at it. Two comma negative wow. three. Okay. Let me put up another point. Okay, what about this point? N negative 6, comma, negative oh, 6. Oh, my bad. This appears to be negative 6. It's negative 5, okay? Okay, please. Okay. N negative 5. Mm, that's also negative a 5. 5 comma, negative, negative 5, comma, So, negative Okay, no problem. Negative five. Mm, okay, comma, now tell me five. this point exactly at the center. Mm, you got clean hold. Uh, I have. I don't know. You mm, have to understand. Negative mm, not at zero. All. Think it over mm. once again. Negative zero one comma one. Okay, tell me what point it corresponds to on the x axis. Negative because one. see the center point is always zero for both the axes. Okay, so we will say this is zero uh, comma. Pardon? Okay, okay. Uh. Tell me what about this point? Yeah. Okay. Wow, I thought you were going to see an error. But you're good. Okay, what about this? Three. No. Wow, Vian, you are three too good. I did not expect this. Now you are clear on this coordinate geometry? Something that has, that must have been taught to you in the school. Okay, what else did you te did they teach you in this? Zero comma mm -hmm. four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, no problems. I, I'll just uh, yeah. try it out and I'll I'll see it on the. You can show it to me on the cam. They also taught us, it's like, in the graph, they had also a sh shape. I wrote it down on my notepad and I'm sure you, because it's a bit too hard to explain. Yeah, yeah, take your time, take your time, no problems. Okay, I'll just show you. One minute. Hold on. Mm, not really. Just can you bring, make, bring it a bit more closer? Wait, Hold let on. Just... Let it get focused. I can only see the ruled lines. You need to just pick it. Oh, okay. There, there. Okay. Okay. That, 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 that. Us to find the new coordinates. We were learning symmetry, and they asked us to find the new coordinates mm -hmm. um, on the other side, and that was really okay. a bit hard for me. Uh, just give me a minute. I will. 
Should I show it to you again? Hold on. Okay, let me do that for you. I understood what was. It's fine, we'll take it up later on because today, as such, we are just having fun. So, not a big problem, right? You could okay. go on, go on to now, the next page. I think you are saying something like this. Let me draw something on the board so that you understand what exactly we are talking about. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you have some figure like this. Yeah, they're like a shape. Okay, right? And then there was a line in the middle going through the shape because we had to do it on the same side then. Okay, see. Uh, then you will have something like this. I mean, it, it can be a line anywhere. It can be a vertical line or a horizontal line. So yeah. Say for example, if I draw this line, okay? Okay. And then you want to find the new shape, correct? Yes. Now, always remember one thing. What you need to do is, Count the squares from the point to the given line, like this. Let me show you. Suppose this is the point we are considering, okay? Yeah. Can you tell me how many units it's away from the given line? Can you count them? Uh, four. Correct. So what do we do is, we go four units on the other side. So one, two, three, four. So that point will come over here. Do you understand this? Yes. Okay. Now can you tell me about this point that is on the top of the triangle? We, it's eight spaces away. Are you sure? Can you please count it once again? No, six. Mm, you need to be careful, Vian. You are good at mathematics. But you're not supposed to commit mistakes, okay? Yeah. Okay, so this is six units. Now, can you tell me about this point, which is at the bottom? It is mm. seven. Seven. So we go seven units to the other side, okay? Yeah. And then what do we do is we join all those points to get the final shape. Oh, that's really easy. Thank you very much. You're welcome, really, Diana. That really helped me. Yeah, so any figure, any figure, even if the line is passing, say, through in between. Say, for example, you have another line. Let me just draw another line which passes from in between the figure. So what happens? Suppose this is the line, okay? Always remember that the shape always, I mean, the point always moves to the other side. Now, in this case, the first point, I will consider this one. Now, because it is on the left of the line and one unit away, it will go to the right one unit away. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So, we will get the point over here. Do you understand this? Yes. Now, this point on the top, it is one unit on the right. So, where does it go? One unit on the left. Correct. And then, the point at the bottom, can you tell me what happens it to that? Two units away from the left. Okay. And then, we, we join the point. Yes. And that is... Right. Gives... That is really easy now for me. Yes. Now, you can do any question, right? You understood? Yeah. And suppose if the line is horizontal, the point will either move up or move down. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. I'm sure this thing is clear to you now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, today was just a demo session. Like, you know, we just wanted to know whether, you know, whatever I teach, you are able to understand or not. Whether you are able to understand my accent. Was everything fine, Vihan? Yeah. Okay. And you enjoyed the session? 
Yes, very much. <laughs> now talk to your mom now. Okay, she's gone upstairs, so I'll just go get her. You're sure, sure.